Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ and not Elijah and not the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. You're welcome to the saints and the church as we reflect on the readings for the third Sunday of Advent, year B. The third Sunday of Advent, also known as the Gadate Sunday, is a time of joyful anticipation within the liturgical calendar. It is a day when we are encouraged to reflect on the themes of joy, hope, and the imminent arrival of Christ's birth. The particular readings chosen for this Sunday in year B offer profound messages that resonate with believers in their quest for spiritual awakening and deepening their relationship with God. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah speaks of the Anointed One who will bring glad tidings to the poor, heal the brokenhearted, and release prisoners from darkness. This message beautifully captures the essence of Advent as we await the coming of Jesus Christ. The fulfillment of these promises, it reminds us that Jesus came not only to bring good news to the world, but to bring healing, freedom, and salvation to all. This reading serves as a reminder of God's unwavering love for humanity and how we are called to be agents of hope and healing in our world today. In the Responsorial Psalm, Mary's Magnificat is a powerful expression of joy and gratitude to God. This psalm of praise celebrates the greatness of God's mercy and the fulfillment of His promises. Through her words, Mary acknowledges God's mercy, exalts His faithfulness, and rejoices in her role as the mother of the Savior. As we embrace the same, we are reminded of the transformative power of God's love in our lives. It invites us to reflect on our own response to God's call and to remain faithful even in difficult circumstances. The Apostle Paul, in his letter, encourages the Thessalonian community and by extension all Christians to rejoice always pray without season, and give thanks in all circumstances. These words serve as an exhortation to cultivate a spirit of gratitude, prayerfulness, and perseverance, regardless of the challenges that life presents us. Paul reminds us that we are called to live in holiness, relying on the power of the Holy Spirit within us. These readings provide a much needed reminder of the joy and hope that can be found in our relationship with God, even amidst the trials of life. Said that the act of humility is for one to acknowledge his position and not think himself to be what he is not. This is seen in John the Baptist. John the Baptist the greatest precursor to Jesus, plays a significant role in today's gospel reading. He is described as a witness to the light testifying to the coming of the Messiah. Jen's humility and self-awareness should be a striking element to us as he acknowledges that he is not the light but merely a voice crying out in the desert. The reading underscores the importance of humility and recognizing our limitations, allowing for Christ to shine through our lives. Through John's witness, we are reminded that our role as disciples is to point others towards Christ's saving grace rather than seeking personal glory. The readings 
before the third Sunday of Advent in year B, captivate our hearts and minds with their message of hope, joy, and humility. They invite us to embrace the transformative power of God in our lives and inspires us to be bearers of this love to the world around us. As we prepare for the celebration of Christ's birth, may this reading renew our faith, deepen our joy, and encourages us to bring about positive change in our communities. Let us remember that Advent is not merely a season of waiting, birth, and opportunity for joyful anticipation and active participation in God's redemptive plan.